and welcome back to another edition of News to Help You Know the Place You Love to Live. I am Mayor Sue Ann Hoheimer, and this... Hi, City Manager Amy Arrington. And we are here to give you a little encapsulated version of the recent City Council meeting for the City of Normandy Park. This took place on Tuesday night, November 9th, and here's what we did. Well, we kicked it off with a presentation from architectural firm Miller Hull, who we've hired to work on the new proposed Civic Center. It was a fabulous presentation, mostly because Mike Jobes, who is the principal on the project, he took us through uh, all the iterations that we've had so far. So from our beginning discussions uh, that were based on a yellow tag survey that we did with the community. We collected all kinds of ideas from everyone who responded, uh, which was a lot of people, and uh, put them all out on pieces of paper and um, on, a, on a big wall, kind of collected everything, and began to really work out in detail what this particular building site could possibly be. And so um, we're starting to see that come to fruition in terms of actually taking shape. And this particular plan right now is just the site plan. So we're figuring out how can we lay out in a footprint on this property a place to have our police department and our city administrative offices and recreation. And so it's getting pretty exciting to just see that this could actually be happening. What else did you think about it, Amy? No, I thought it was really great. Uh, working with the facilities committee and the council and the architectural firm, we really are developing a what I would call a multi-use, multi-purpose facility that has lots of options. And as I keep telling everybody, the fun part's coming in 2022 when we move past the site plan and get into design. Right. There will be plenty of other opportunity for people to weigh in and give us their opinions and ideas and uh, help us to just figure out if we've got all the bells and whistles and things that we're looking for. And if it's all within our price range too, eventually we will be kicking off a capital campaign to help raise the funds for a lot of what we have lying ahead. Does that sound about right? Yeah, more to come. All right, stay tuned. Next, we went on to a report of the officers. And I think what I took away from that was mostly a lot of... Um, a lot of thanks and a lot of congratulations. Um, there were uh, call outs to just say um, thank you to our veterans because Veterans Day is coming up and all those who have served in our military and continue to do so. And uh, there was uh, just reminders of this particular time of year of thankfulness and gratitude. Um, we also had big rounds of thanks for all the people who worked on our Prop 1 campaign, which was about our levy lid lift on the recent ballot. And thankfully that passed and we just had lots of gratitude to go around for all the people that took part in that, um, as well as gratitude expressed from our police department, which now can be fully staffed for the next uh, seven years because of that levy lid lift. So thank you to all who participated participated there and especially to those who voted for that. Um, we also did have a mention at that time of a survey that will be coming out shortly from the Parks Commission and that'll have a lot to do with what you just heard us talking about with the Civic Center. We're just um, kind of doing another round of survey of our current residents, especially in light of the fact that with the COVID-19 pandemic, Lots of things have changed about our lives, and we've also had the pleasure of welcoming lots of new families to our community, and we just want to make sure that we're um, on the fresh edge of, of knowing what it is that people would like to see in kind of a core of our community in terms of what we could build here on the Normandy Park City Hall Park site for a new civic center. So we've got people on guard looking looking for that survey to come out that should be out fairly soon amy can you think of anything else um in the report of the officers that we no, should highlight no i think that's it just want to follow up encourage everybody to participate in the survey because your feedback really will help us develop really great uh programs that will be loved by the whole entire community so that's keep right. an eye out for years to come um, next, we went on to our new business. This was actually a meeting where we didn't have a lot of continuing business, which was 
kind of nice. Like we wrapped it up last time. So going on to new business this time, uh, we began with our city manager uh, bringing to us as a council the legislative agenda for 2022. And um, we sort of feel like the the idea behind that is if Amy here is ever like in an elevator with one of our representatives at the state level, what would be the kinds of things that she would want to just rattle off to them really quickly that are really important to our city? And it's important, I think, for us to sort of just have those few short important goals ready to go at a moment's notice so that we can push for them at any given opportunity. Did I sort of sum up that correctly, do you think, Amy, in terms you, of the context? You did. And yeah. then how about the content? What well, we had a lot of great content in the legislative agenda. Some of it wasn't new. There were still some items that had been listed before that we want to continue to lobby our state and federal representatives support. Things like property tax reform, support of infrastructure that's really needed in our community. But we did start talking about adding some new items. Some of those, uh, the two big ones from the city council's perspective is police reform. As the community probably knows, the state did pass some new standards mm -hmm. for law enforcement. And we appreciate the intent, but we really feel that it's a little bit cumbersome in trying to provide that great service that we want to provide to Normandy Park residents, you know, to serve and protect you every day. Mm -hmm. So we'd like the legislature to take a look at it and maybe do some tweaking of that. Another big thing that we want the state to go back and look at is you remember hearing about House Bill 2020, right. which yeah. expands the definitions that we are required to ha provide homeless housing. Mm -hmm. And while we're not opposed to it, we just felt the the current law as written is a little cumbersome, a little overburdensome to the mm -hmm. community. And we'd like them to consider some new laws, maybe some partnerships that can still provide this assistance, but continue to protect the single family neighborhoods and homes that we all love. Right. We kind of like the decisions to be made in the most local way, wouldn't you say, Amy? I, I agree. So the council didn't formally approve anything. They, okay. they gave us some feedback, so we're going to come back, work a little bit more, and be bringing it back to the council at our next meeting. Uh, and I think I'll steal the term from council member Bischoff. We're going to work to add more meat to the items that we're going to ask okay. the council to approve. The next item on our agenda was uh, the appointment of a new parks commissioner. And so we were uh, able to welcome uh, John Benchite as our brand new parks commissioner. He'll be in position number two, and we're very excited to have him on board. It was a unanimous vote, and we always like to see those. An item that led to um, some robust discussion was um, a proposal from an organization called SKIP, stands for South King County Housing and Homelessness Partnership. And um, we are in an agreement with several other cities in the South King County region um, that uh, work together in partnership on issues around affordable housing. And um, it was, intended to be just a, a simple item about paying our upcoming dues, but it did lead to some really robust discussion, and we will be uh, continuing that conversation at a future meeting. We got so into it that it just uh, was, was taking up a little bit too much time in our meeting because we had other items to get to. So uh, I believe on our workshop on uh, November 23rd. I think we're going to hear some more about that conversation. If you're interested, you can tune in then. Our final item of the evening had to do with uh, the 2022 stormwater fee. And I think I'm going to let Amy here tell us a little bit more about what that was all about. Amy? Oh, great. This is a really important fee that we have that really helps us address stormwater issues, uh, both operation and capital improvements. The last increase was in 2016. So the city staff did ask the city council to consider an increase just to help us keep up with expenses and realistically keep up with the capital needs. So you have a very effective and well-working stormwater system. Uh, we discussed it and the council agree. So coming in 2022, there will be a 6% increase 
it's, I think it's going up a total of $8 a year, and that is billed through King County. I think that sort of wrapped it up for the main items on our agenda for the evening. Um, we did have a break for executive session, and that was to talk about some uh, negotiations that uh, are um, in an RCW allowed to be held in private um, in executive session. So uh, we just adjourned from there. And that was it for our meeting. If you want to know more about that meeting or see particular parts of it, we will list a link below in uh, this video so that you can click on and watch some of that live and in person. Other than that, uh, just be available to tune back in for more of these updates in the future. The next couple of meetings are scheduled to be, uh, as I mentioned, on Tuesday, November 23rd. We have a workshop and that will be followed by a regularly scheduled city council meeting on the uh, second Tuesday in December. And on from that, we're working on scheduling upcoming workshops. So we will have one in January and then again in February, and we're working on scheduling those as well. So thanks again for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you in the park.